Hello, my name is Shallow. This game is Silent Hill. We're here in Midwich Elementary School. I think today is a day we explore the school. We've got a, a number of places to check out. I'm so glad the map automatically updates, lets you know which doors are locked, which ones you can go through. Uh, so we've got two classrooms, a hall, and a teacher's room to try still. And one toilet, unfortunately. <laughs> oh no, nothing good ever happens in there, but we're gonna check just to be thorough. Uh, and then we've got... Oh, we've got two staircases. We've got an upstairs, and we've got a downstairs. I'm not looking forward to that. But we'll do this one floor at a time. I want to be thorough. Gotta find my daughter. Um, real quick before we continue. I am running this with shaders. These games were designed to be seen on a CRT back in the day. I don't have a CRT to run this on. And even if I did, uh, there's no way to record that without, you know, just like pointing a camcorder at the TV. So the best I could do is shaders. Um, that does kind of, you know, it doesn't do a perfect job of emulating what it's supposed to look like, but it's better than the raw capture, which, uh, hang on, let me turn the shaders off real quick. Let me show you what that looks like. So there it is. <laughs> Just raw dog in the disc. This is the data more or less exactly as it is on the disc. Um, yeah, these games were never designed to actually be seen this way. You're not supposed to see any of this. It's supposed to go through layers of uh, signal distortion from the cables and then some physical distortion in your screen. They factored all that in when making uh, the, the models and the textures and even the rendering. All that dithering you see, you're not supposed to see that. That's all supposed to kind of get smoothed over. Um, and that's why a lot of people, when they emulate these games, they use hacks to remove that stuff. Uh, or they use a lot of, you know, upscaling to make it look nicer. And it's because this looks horrendous and not what it was supposed to look like. That's important. This is not what it was supposed to look like, even though this is straight data right from, right from the disc or the ROM or whatever you have. Wasn't supposed to look like this. They didn't anticipate you ever seeing this. Ooh. Brother, ooh. What's that? What's that, brother? This is a lot closer to what they expected you to see. So all that dithering kind of makes the darkness look darker. It makes the shadows look shadowier. It makes everything look a lot less blocky when, when the CRT blurs everything together. You can emulate that by removing all the dithering and the, the pixeliness and upscaling everything, but I feel this is a more accurate way to do it. Uh, CRT shaders were not that good for a long time. It's only in recent years I think they've gotten good enough to, at least in my eyes, maybe my eyes have gotten worse, <laughs> but I'm sure the technology's gotten better too. I feel like in recent years, the CRT shaders do look the way, more or less, that I remember seeing stuff on CRTs, so that's what I'm using. There's There have been years and years and years of HD upscales and playthroughs of that nature, so I don't want to contribute to what other people have already done. I see a lot less playthroughs like this. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm stalling, because this school is about to be spooky. Let's go. <laughs> I've already cleared... Oh. Okay. Have we tried this door yet? Yeah, that one's locked, but we haven't tried the other door. So let's do that. Okay, also locked. We have to go through the middle. Through the, uh, through the courtyard. Not there, it's here, right? Oh, nope, that's outside. Whoop! Nope! <laughs> no, 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 no! 
I don't want to be up there. <laughs> Ooh, there's some sloppy little critter out there that wants me. I'm not interested. Whoa, okay, hold on. This is the... Where am I? This is the, uh... The little lobby area. Okay, interesting. You skip that, I guess, and just go straight outside if you... Do it from the in inside. Interesting. Is there spooky stuff out here again? I don't see anything. Okay. I think Silent Hill at nighttime just sounds like that, which is terrifying. <laughs> I don't like that one bit. Um, oh, this door right in front of us. We haven't tried that yet. Ooh, that opens. Hello? What the fuck? Uh, oh, fuck. Oh. Is that a baby? It's a little ghost baby. Oh. Okay. Uh, that's upsetting. It didn't attack me. I appreciate that very much. <laughs> that's almost worse. Can't read that sign. Some kind of attention, some kind of warning. Door is jammed. Can't be opened. Okay, this is a dead end. Dead end with a ghost baby. Nothing more. Can I read any of this? No. Really nothing here except handgun bullets. Handgun bullets and a ghost baby. A friend in need. Okay. Uh, I want to head over to the... Yeah. Yeah, let's clean up the uh, left side first. There's the stairs. Is there anything... Under the stairwell here. Ah, oh, there's a door. Nothing inside. Some kind of maintenance closet, maybe. Oop, nope, don't go upstairs yet. Don't want to do that. Okay, classroom's locked. Uh, there should be a teacher's room, I think, at the end of the hall here, and then a restroom. Oh. That's the restroom already. Is this the one I've been in? I think it is. It is, yeah. Alright, right next door. How about this one? Uh, also nothing. It's identical, actually. Okay. I mean, except the urinals, I guess. I don't think the other one had urinals. I wasn't really paying attention. Okay, I don't like being in there. <laughs> Maybe nothing happens in there, but... Being in bathrooms in horror games always makes me feel really tense. Harry, you're gonna have to hold it. If you've gotta pee, I'm not taking you to the bathroom, my guy. You gotta hold it. You can pee back at the doghouse. Alright, these are all locked. Yes, they are. Okay, so is that the whole left side explored then? It is. Yeah. Good. Let's head over to the other side. Leave no stone unturned. Gotta find Cheryl. Oh, that's locked. Okay, how do I get over there? Huh. I can't get over there. Ooh, you know what? I bet if I go upstairs and around, I can get down the other staircase. That's probably how I do it. Okay. Well, it's time. Let's head up. Yeah. Oh. We got a Resident Evil loading screen? No? Okay.
There's something up here. I can hear it. The hell is that sound? That was new. Oh, no, it's just another one of these. Oh. Oh, I don't like them. They're creepy. It's got a knife. Can I take the knife? Eh, I already have a knife. Okay, we can go in here at least. Ooh, there's more doors. What is this place? This is just another hall. Um, do I have a map for the second floor? Yes, I do. Library reserve, chemistry lab, lab equipment room. Oh, part of that puzzle involved a lab, didn't it? I think I remember. Ah, I wish I'd... Wait, hold on. Do I have that note in my inventory? No. What is that? Empty slot. Alright, there's an item I can pick up still, I guess. Alright. Let's try all these doors. That one works. Where? Oh, where? <laughs> this is a very small room. I don't... I don't want monsters in here. He's not aiming at anything, so... Is it just spooky ambience? There is a chemical. Yeah, let's take the... Nondescript chemical. What is that box? Nothing? What about this pole over here? That's nothing? Nothing useful on the shelf? Okay. Are these health drinks? Glucose. No reason to take it. Oh. Okay. I'm sure at some point I'll need that. Otherwise, you wouldn't comment on it, right? You just tell me nothing useful. Anything on these shelves? There's something. Distilled water. Okay. Is that more distilled water? Yeah. So there's distilled water and glucose. I'll have to remember that for when that becomes relevant. Ooh, there's another one. Do they respawn in here? That wouldn't be good. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> I don't think they respawn outside. It kind of seems like I was thinning the herd out there. So if they respawn in here, that would be bad. Is that a hand? Ugh. Oh, it's a statue. All right. Oh, it's the old man's hand with the gold thing, right? The fist shut tight, as if never to let go. I can't take that with me? Right. Okay, this is what the puzzle is about. Do I have to do a... Like a chemical reaction to dissolve the hand? Is that how we're doing this? Bullets. Bullets in the chemistry lab. That's what you want to see. That's... That's good. Lovely. Alright. So no... No spooky zombies out here this time. Oh. There's one down there somewhere, though. Anything in here? Looks okay. Box? Nothing in the box? Hmm. Uh, 
Oh, man. Can I at least try some light switches? <laughs> Harry, you haven't even tried light switches. Come on, man. Nothing useful in the desk drawer. Okay. Not in that one either. Hmm. How about the next classroom? Oh! Oh! Ooh. I don't know how the accuracy on the pistol works. It kind of seems like if you push it quickly, Harry starts to miss his shots. That could be placebo. But it kind of seems like if you, if you take your time and just sort of tap the trigger, it, it's more accurate. Oh, wait. <laughs> Wolf. <laughs> Adorable. Ah, oh. love a bit of levity in the horror games. Zoo. Let's say cut. Some creepy kids in here. Car. Yeah, there's nothing in any of these classrooms, huh? All right. Oh. Oh! Oh! Oh, shoot the one on the ground, yeah. Good thinking, Harry. Nope. There you go. Kick him. Is there a third one? The radio's still crackling. Oh! It's the ghost baby again. Hey, bud. Are you, uh... What are you doing? You going in there? You just, like, wandering around? What's going on here? Oh, that's creepy. Is it following me? It is. Oh. <laughs> I don't like that. Um, where am I going now? Let's try these doors. These are the rooms I was just in, right? Just want to make sure I've ticked them off on the map. Yeah, there's nothing I can do with that. Yeah, I've been here too. Okay. Ooh, okay. Hey, it's okay. Can I interact with you in any way? Oop, he fell over again. And there he goes. All right. <laughs> yeah, not really sure what's up with the ghost baby. These at least I can, I know what to do with. There we go. Oh, damn. <laughs> it's not me, right? That was a new animation. <laughs> Harry's uh, kick is getting pretty vicious. Some windows. Cool. Oh. Excuse me? Where's that coming from? So they're gonna jump out of a locker? Please, no. I can't see what's in the corner. It's a drawer. Oh! Just a cat. Well, okay. You had to get me with one cat jump scare. Oh! Is the cat okay? Did the cat open the door? Nothing inside. 
There was no point to that. Oh, man. Just got a cat killed for nothing. That doesn't feel good. Okay, what's waiting for me out here? Just you. Okay. I mean, that's pretty bad. But it's nothing I haven't dealt with already. There was no point to that. Alright. Whew. What's in here? All quiet. Oh, piano room. Is there going to be a, a piano key puzzle? There's always a piano key puzzle. A tale of birds without a voice. First flew the greedy pelican, eager for the reward, white wings flailing. Then came a silent dove, flying beyond the pelican as far as he could. A raven flies in, flying higher than the dove, just to show that he can. A swan glides in to find a peaceful spot next to another bird. Finally, out comes a crow, coming quickly to a stop, yawning and then napping. Who will show the way? Who will be the key? Who will lead to the silver reward? Uh, I do need something silver for that other puzzle, right? So that's gotta be connected. I haven't found any birds yet that I'm aware of. It won't open. Odd. Doesn't look locked, though. Okay. Maybe a crowbar or something. Nothing back here. Can't look at those. Alright. So we gotta be on the lookout for some birds, I guess. Am I at the end of this hall? Yep. Cool, the piano is marked, so that's clearly important. Oh, locked. Great. Let's head back. Gotta do the other side of this floor. Oh, I haven't checked the library yet. Yeah, let's do that. Let's check out some books. Is it just this? It is, yeah. How did I miss this? All right. Something's in here. I hear you. Where are you? Is, is it the ghost baby again? Sounds like the ghost baby. But I can't see it. Now it's gone. Definitely sounded like the ghost baby, though. No special book here. Am I supposed to be looking for a special book? Maybe. I feel like I'm missing something with that ghost baby. No useful books. Okay. There's no book here about finding my lost daughter. Bunch of useless books. Yeah, go ahead and take that. Man, I've got a lot of healing items. <laughs> Nothing can hurt me. Oop. I see you. Got him. That's what you get for trying to read. No useful books. No need to read any of these books. Notes on the wall, nothing. At some point, the game is going to get frustrated and just be like, stop clicking on these books. I told you, there's nothing here. Yeah, okay. 
I don't trust you. <laughs> There's a lot of clickable items. I'm going to click them all. Ooh, it's unlocked. We'll go through it then, please. Where am I? Hmm. Okay. Oh, hey, I didn't know I could do that. Cool. Alright, let's head down and uh, check the other hall then. Oh no, turn that back on. <laughs> oh, I didn't know I could turn my flashlight off. Why would I ever want to do that? That sounds like a terrible idea. There's the stairs. Which of these doors have I checked already? None of them. Okay. Just like last time, one at a time. Let's go down the row. Where? There he is. Is there a second one? Yes, there is! Get off. Bitch. <laughs> I don't know how long they stay down for. It seems like a decent amount of time. I don't think I need to feel quite as rushed. Health drink? Yep. How you doing on health, Harry? Yeah, not so hot. Let's use... Oh, that took you all the way to green? Alright. Cool. That was more useful than it was last time. Hmm. Alright. Well, nothing in here. Next classroom. All quiet. I like to hear that. Is that a... Is that a picture of H.P. Lovecraft? <laughs> It's too uh, low res to make up for sure, but it kind of looks like him. Maybe, maybe a little bit. This just goes back the way I came, right? Yeah, this is that same classroom. Okay. I don't think there's anything in any of these classrooms. Hmm. Okay, end of the hall. <laughs> There's the toilets. Ooh, I can unlock it from the other side. Okay, I get it. Does it show as unlocked on the map now? It does. Cool. From a uh, game design stick. No. Cheryl? This is the boys' bathroom. Pooping in here? Oh, fuck. I can't check any of these? No? Okay. Well, fuck that. <laughs> Just leaving then. <laughs> I was gonna say, in terms of game design, the uh, markings on the map here... It's a bit odd that the locked door and the, uh, you know, you can pass through this door markings overlap. You'd think one would just replace the other when you unlock it. But if you remember, this is a map, a physical map, a paper map Harry is writing on in pen. And it totally makes sense. You can't replace that marking. He just scribbles over it. I kind of like it from that perspective. It's cool. Uh are you the ones crying in here? Oh, okay. We finally found out what happens when you run out of ammo. All right, all right. Who? Oh. Time to leave. <laughs> okay. Can you reload without? No, okay. Oops, don't pause. Go to the inventory. We finally figured it out. So you can in fact run out and you do have to reload from the inventory.
I'm not out of bullets. <gasps> Am I out of bullets? No. No way. I've been picking up ammo. How am I out? Uh-oh. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> well, oh, boy. It's pipe time. Uh-oh. Come here. Yeah. Oh, shit. Get off, get off, get off, get off. Got him. Yeah, yeah. Nope. Nope. Get back here. Ugh. There's some bullets. Okay. Harry, calm down. Okay, you've got a lot of healing items. Go ahead and use one of those. Um, stock 15 bullets for the handgun. Let's reload that. Now they're all in the gun and they're not in the inventory anymore. We don't have any spare. Okay, so what must have been happening, I think, is Harry does reload on his own. which caused me to run out without realizing it because I wasn't going through the menu. I think that's probably what happened. Let's do another health drink. Okay, just gotta make sure. All of that for nothing too, there's nothing in these bathrooms. There was a crying kid in that one. But that resulted in nothing. It was just a, just a spooky room, huh? Nobody's actually in here. Knock, knock. <laughs> no. Okay, nobody's in here. Yeah. Stop. Why do I keep hitting that button? Okay. Um, how about that chemical I picked up? What is that all about? The label reads, concentrated hydrochloric acid found in the lab equipment room. Oh. I was thinking I had to combine something. Maybe I can just pour that straight onto the hand. Let's try that. I bet I can just pour it straight onto the hand then. I was probably overthinking it. Door here and in here, right? The hand. Huh. What if I use it from the menu? Yeah, there we go. That is a dangerous chemical to keep around an elementary school. <laughs> there is a gold medallion. Take it. Hell yeah. Is that the gold sun? A picture of a clock tower is engraved on the surface. Cool. Yeah, I bet I can put that in the clock tower in the sun uh, slot or whatever that was. Oh! Oh, I'm sorry I touched your hand. Fuck off. Oh, he's not dead. <laughs> Is there another one? I think there's another one. There he is, yeah. You didn't go help your friend? Man, these zombie children have no loyalty. Alright. <laughs> so, do we continue exploring the school, or do we... Uh, go to the clock tower, do you think? Uh, we could go down the stairs and explore the other half of the... Downstairs? Let's do that. Yeah, let's, let's do this one at a time. Let's 
thoroughly explore the whole school before we do whatever that clock tower thing is. Besides, maybe there's more ammo. Oh, shit, let go. Uh, uh, uh. Got him. Oh, here comes another one. Yeah, you want some too? There. How do you like that? Oh, he's back up. No, get off. Ugh. Good thing I've been picking up all that health. <laughs> I'm really gonna need it. There's another one. Waiting for me in the dark over there. Okay, we'll get to him sooner or later. Wanna make sure... Nope, no door over here. Okay. How about this? Oop, it's unlocked. That just goes back to the main lobby area, right? Yeah, that's the locked door from before. Cool. So now we can go around without having to go up and down the stairs. Nothing useful in the desk drawer. I do need to be keeping my eye out for bird stuff, right? There's bird puzzle elements in play now. Flamingos and pigeons and whatnot. This is the same classroom asset. It's just been <laughs> copied and pasted. Oh! Yeah! He got a little too eager. He lunged and fell over. What an idiot. Uh, there is a thing here on the wall. Can I read that? No? Okay. It looks a little bit like a note. I thought maybe I could read it. I can't. It's just decoration. Oh! Uh. Oh, it's the ghost baby again. Hey, ghost baby. Oh, two of them. What if I turn my light off? Nothing. Oh, there's ammo. Yeah, I'll take that. Yes, please. Anything in the desk this time? Nothing useful. Yeah, this is a waste of time. There's nothing useful in these desks ever. Okay. Well, here we are, end of the hall. Um. It's just that hall room up there. I haven't been to yet. Unlocked. Cool. Door's jammed. Hmm. Wow, there's no way into that hall at all. Okay. Interesting. Um. Maybe we go up to the roof? just to make sure everything's been thoroughly explored. Yeah, let's do that. There's the stairs. All right, roof access. Okay. Oh, door's jammed, can't be open. Okay, no roof, I guess. Let's do the clock tower. It's good to know that I'm not missing anything, you know? Even if it results in nothing, I'm glad I explored all the, the possibilities. Is that right? Yeah, okay. I worried I was uh, out on the street for a second there. That's definitely not where I wanna be. A golden sun. Yeah, that's got to be the medallion, right? Ha 
Aha. Look at me solving puzzles and shit. <laughs> Tower door is locked. Hmm. The hands are stopped at 12. Weren't they at 10 before? Ah. What is this? Silver moon. All right, so I need a silver medallion. Maybe I'll go check out those notes again. And probably save as well. Okay, 12 o'clock. A place with songs and sound. A silver guidepost is untapped in lost tongues. Awakening at the ordained order. So that's the piano room, right? A place of songs and sounds. Uh, silver... I don't think I have anything silver. I, I probably get silver from there, right? It's gotta be the moon medallion, surely. Surely. Hmm. What's the quickest way back up there? Yeah, up that staircase. All right. Is this still locked? It is. I bet if I go all the way around, I can unlock it. <laughs> Must have missed that one. Oh, well. Uh, I do wonder if there's going to be new enemies around now that I've made progress. Stuff seems to stay dead once I've killed it, but also new stuff seems to spawn in when progress is made, I'm noticing. Like, these halls are empty, because I've cleared them. But, uh... Oh, that's the library. When I... Uh... When I got the gold medallion, all of a sudden there were enemies in the hall again. Is that the piano room? No, I'm completely on the wrong side of the building. No! Alright, hang on. My sense of direction is so fucked, dude. I don't know what's going on. I'm glad there's a map. Oh, hey, this is open now. Cool. There's some blood on some of the keys. Does this mean anything? Check the piano? Yeah. Oh! Oh. Hmm, so some of those don't work. It's got to have something to do with the birds, right? Can I look in there? Can I repair, like, the strings, maybe? No? Okay. Let's read this note again. Tale of Birds Without Voice. First flew the greedy pelican, eager for the reward, white wings flailing. Probably telling me I need to hit a white key first. Then came a silent dove flying beyond the pelican as far as he could. Um, maybe a key that doesn't make a sound. But past the pelican one, a raven flies in flying higher than the dove. Just to show that he can. That's got to be a black key for the raven. A swan glides in find a peaceful spot next to another bird. Probably another white key. And it's just gotta be next to a bird. Okay. Oh, and then finally comes a crow, black key, coming quickly to a stop, yawning, and then napping. <laughs> okay. Man, that is a real riddle. The last puzzle just 
was to pick up an item and use it on another item. This one's like an actual, hang on, I gotta get paper out and write this down. All right. Wait. High as he could, a silent one. A white one past the silent one. And then a white one next to another bird. I don't know if that's right. And then a black one. No. Greedy Pelican. First flew the Greedy Pelican white. Then came the Dove. Okay, doves are white. So a white key, a white key higher than the white key. A black key higher than both keys. A white key next to a key. And a crow. Okay. All right, so the birds I think are only the silent keys. There's five birds and there's five silent keys. So that narrows it down a bit. It's confusing because the, the riddle specifically calls one of the birds silent. So you think specifically that one needs to be a silent key, but I think they might all be silent keys. Let me try it. It's white, a higher white, an even higher black. Oh, and then a swan. It's, and then a crow. No, shit. <laughs> okay, the swan needs to be next to a bird, so. Next to a bird, crow. No, it could also be this. This. Oh, as high as he could go. So it's gotta be the highest white key. This has gotta be it. Yes, okay, ooh. <laughs> oh man. It was there the whole time? I thought there was a clock on the wall. That was the medallion? Harry, you could, you've got a long metal pipe. You could have pried that off. Oh, that is a tough puzzle. Not unfair, not insurmountable, but uh, compared to everything else I've had to deal with so far, uncharacteristically hard. <laughs> that is, uh, okay, interesting. Was not prepared for that, but we solved it. That took a lot of trial and error. <laughs> It's, it's, it's been a while since I've seen a puzzle like that. It gives you all the pieces and then lets you figure it out. There's no searching for more hints or more clues or more parts. Or, it's just, I know these are the clues. These are the keys. Figure out what order they go in. That's all it was. Nice. All right. Uh, how do I get back out to the courtyard? Right out here. Oh, it's unlocked. There we go, that's the door I failed to unlock last time. Okay, we're in the lobby now, good. Get out of here. Get out of here. Ooh, I can hit them both at once with the pipe? That is handy. All right. Fuck you. And fuck you. I'm gonna go ahead and save. <laughs> now that we've made some progress. Wait, this is not the save room. I keep coming into that room. It's uh, down at the end of the hall here. Yeah, there it is. Okay. I think maybe next time we tackle the clock tower stuff, 
there's one more uh, time to go. These notes over here in the uh, reception area. There's a 10 o'clock, which was the gold medallion. Whoop. A 12 o'clock was the silver medallion, and there's a 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock, darkness that brings the choking heat. Flames render the silence, awakening the hungry beast. Open time's door to beckon prey. Okay. So when we put the medallion in, that turns the clock to 5. Open time's door, that's the little door on the clock for sure. We'll tackle that next time, we'll head into the clock tower. Clock tower, I feel like, is going to be a spooky situation. It's a clock tower. How could it not be? <laughs> uh, how are you doing on health and ammo, Harry? Health's okay. You got 30 bullets. You might need them. This pipe is doing good work, but uh, I miss shooting stuff. <laughs> hey, thanks for joining me. We'll... Uh, Go deeper into Silent Hill next time. Until then, you take it easy.